Hey, Michael Bishop again, wanted to give you an update on our 3910 tractor project. Um, the guys here, they've been outside steam cleaning and uh, degreasing, trying to get everything cleaned up. And uh, now they're working on putting a, a paint stripper on to try to get the paint off before we, we prime. Um, they had just mentioned to me that it was not working very well when they were outside. So, Tyler, uh, Bill, tell me a little bit more about kind of what went wrong and what's going on, what y'all are doing right now. All right, so what happened was, um, we had it outside and I think due to the humidity um, and things like that, it was drying just or like really fast. As fast as we even put it on, it was drying off. So we decided to bring it into the shop and uh, coat it again. Um, and then once it's coated, then we're going to wrap it up, which is, it says on a container to help speed up the process. Uh, you gotta check it like every 15 minutes, but like right through here, it's bubbling up, which is what it's supposed oh, to be. Oh, I see, doing. I see, yeah, it looks like and it's it, bubbling up. Yeah, well. it wasn't doing that outside, and then it says that after after it's painted on and bubbles up, you should be able to take a putty knife and, or uh, something that's not gonna, like a Bondo knife or something like brush that. Brush or something yeah. like that. Still and then brush. get it all off, yeah. So is this right here what I'm seeing? Where this is white, that's where it's already taken off the paint yeah. and it's starting yeah. to actually etch into the metal, correct? Yeah. So now the primer should be able to stick onto that with ease. They actually, the bottle it. actually said you need to be ready to prime it as soon as you get the paint off because it starts rusting like flash rust pretty much right. instantaneously. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice update. Yeah. Another thing that's going on this morning is we're actually painting some uh, matte black on the uh, roll guard. And uh, ironically, we've got Matt Cruz working on the matte black paint. So let's go check with him. All right, Matt, tell us what we got going on here. We're getting ready to put the third coat of paint on the roll bar and some other black parts that go on the 3910 tractor that we've been restoring lately. And I'm just mixing up some matte black and I'm about to go spray. Nice. Everything seemed like it's taking paint good. Yeah. Everything working out good. Oh, yeah. Everything was prepped right. Everything was wiped down. Grease, wax, whatever was on it, it's off now. Excellent. We'll go outside and, and check out the status on those parts. All right. Here we are outside. I don't know if y'all can see my, my shirt blowing like the worst possible conditions to be painting outside, but here we are. Um, there is uh, the seat bracket, the roll guard. There's two coats of matte black paint on there right now. Uh, Matt Cruz out here getting ready to spray a third coat. like an artist right there. Yeah. Hunter Fowler taught me everything I know. <laughs> 